Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In the past two months, I'm working on improving my pick and place machine into more reliable, um, more easy to use ones. And if you watch my video before, you probably know that I'm working on converting my 3D printer into a pick and place machine. Um, the goal is to help me place uh, small components into the board um, like this. So because uh, this is a rather small form factor boards and I need to place uh, auto one components as well. So my goal is to be able to place this small uh, component reliably. And in the past video, I have already made some of the um, boards, some of the components, for example, like this one. This is the baseboard I was using before and also including the nozzle change. And now you can see it has been uh, a bit different. So the problem of the uh, pre previous one, this one is that um, it has a fixed um, component and then it has this um, 24 times 8 millimeter strip feeder and also it has 12 millimeter feeders and it has a camera holder it also has a nozzle changer but then uh, because it's, it's like fixed and it's not flexible um, enough so for me I sometimes I don't need that much of uh, 12 millimeter feeders therefore I make an improvement and from here it's a probably um, looks familiar because it's like a lego style so yeah i'm designing basically um, the uh, base plate with the lego style and the good things about that is that um, uh, it's more flexible um, i can clean some of the different components for example like this one is an eight millimeter feeder and I can clean one and, and then place to whatever place I want. And I can also place more. And if I have a, a bigger bore, then I can take this one out and then um, place on some other some other place, maybe um, on the, uh, the different positions, different orientations. So this is uh, quite, quite handy. And the other thing is like, if um, if you are placing a board, you can basically prepare several of this one already with the components. So whenever uh, one component is already placed, then you can just replace replace the plate here, the feeder here. So it makes it easier to also um, swap out with the strip feeder. And then um, the same as here, you can see you can take out whatever ones easily. And this is one of the, the improvement. And then the other one is that um, because it's like Lego style, so basically everything is a component. So for this one, the PCB fixture, for example, I'm having this uh, very small uh, PCB I was designing. And then I can just uh, uh, 3D print this uh, fixture and then place it on top. It's, uh, it's a quite, uh, quite easy. And also it's a fixed uh, PCB um, positions pretty accurately. So it's, it's very handy for me. And then uh, you can place on different positions as you, as you wish for these components. And then, um, yeah, it also helps you with the job, for example. And then you probably notice there's also um, this green dot. So this is actually, um, uh, home video shot. So every time when the uh, device is homing, then it will look for this uh, video shot. So uh, as uh, because it's like Lego style, so um, it's also possible just to mount, just to mount the video shot. And then um, I have another two here. So as you can see, I have uh, one here, one here. Um, I'm using the OpenPMP as the software so um, to calibrate the system. Um, there are primary and secondary fiducia and that requires on different level of high. And then I also may, according to the, the documentation, so I made this high the same as this one as a PCB. So it will bring the accuracy 
um, as, as, as is expected. Um, yeah, so this makes it makes it also very flexible. You can also put the whatever place I place here because it's in the middle. So um, it will be um, basically more accurate if you put it on the side and then it will not be so accurate uh, considering on two sides. So um, the other thing is that I also made the uh, nozzle changer and this one is also able to uh, move. It's also an, a component. So basically everything is a component. So later, later if, I, if I want to have, um, if I need to have more nozzles, then I can just place them uh, in here or I can print another one and then print them here, uh, place them here. And as you can see before, previously, I have three here. I have three um, uh, nozzle tip holder. And now I actually extended one so I can now support six nozzles, different size nozzles. And if I need more, I can actually put another three here so then it will be nine nozzles. So basically this is extendable and later if there is a um, if you if if I want to have some new design, then I can just uh, change or change the component, uh, redesign this part, and then I will have a different, for example, the the nozzle changes. Um, so this makes it quite easy. And then the other part is, as you can see, probably here. This is the camera module. Um, so this one also is a component. So you can see I can easily take it up, take it out, and then I can also mount it. And I basically um, designed this one uh, to be quite solid. Therefore, when this is moving, this camera will not be um, shaking, basically. So this is also um, uh, very useful for the accuracy of the system. And then, of course, I use this um, um, let me just turn off the light so it will be easier to see. So I actually use the um, uh, 3D printed this one and then uh, it covers the uh, PCB board and inside there are LEDs. So basically this thing, um, this uh, uh, surface uh, plastic will be used also um, to soften the light uh, a bit as a soften light softener which is uh, also um, serve the purpose. And then you probably notice also the other changes I have is this uh, nozzle head. I um, redesigned it, this one. Um, it's not, I it actually improve it. It's not that redesigned, but improve it a, a lot. So um, one thing is that you can see before it was uh, uh, like turning 90 degrees here. Um, the problem of this one is then this nozzle nozzle tip. Uh, it has a, a limitation on the on, on the position. So because now I turn it over to this direction, and then the camera is a little bit uh, on in in front of the nozzle tip. So in this case, when the uh, nozzle head moves to the side direction, then it can actually utilize the whole board. So the, the whole width of the board. So it can, it can actually pick and place whatever positions. And before when it's turning like this direction, there will be a partial of this board which is not able to use. So this is um, uh, one thing that um, solved by this direction turning. And then the other thing is um, I redesigned also this uh, fixture here, as you can see, this is a, a, a separate component and it also mounted to the uh, hot and bed plate, uh, which makes it uh, also uh, easier to mount this uh, uh, nozzle head. And then with a different printer, uh, we just need to have a different uh, adapter here. And then um, to basically to design the adapter for a different printer, then uh, you just need to uh, know the mounting hole. You just need to leave the corresponding mounting hole position. So actually, I'm planning to make a 
a different adapter for different printers. I also bought another printer, which is a CR10, which is like a 30, 30, mm, uh, 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter. So the, the print uh, area is bigger. That means also I can uh, put more components into here and maybe uh, place a bigger board. So it's uh, very uh, handy. I will also make a video later on to show how I um, adapt that 3D printer into a pick and place, a bigger pick and place machine. Uh, but for this one, I will also need to make an adapter for the CR10 and the CR10 printer. Um, so um, with these changes, then um, I can adapt with different type of uh, printer. And what we need to do is just uh, screw, unscrew the, the head and then mount it, uh, uh, mount it to use a different adapter and then mount it the same head. So this head will be remain unchanged. And then the other thing is I also redesigned uh, this uh, nozzle tip uh, holder. So this one is basically, I, I make it basically um, a whole unit now. So it's becoming more accurate. Uh, which is uh, which is great. So when it's turning and the, the nozzle tip movement is even more uh, accurate. So basically I, I will show you later on basically it could uh, place the auto one uh, quite consistently. Uh, I've also made a few other um, nozzle head um, components integrated. So basically you can see more um, clearly here, but there, there are some difference. This is a uh, uh, one version before. Um, this one is not integrated uh, this uh, uh, nozzle nozzle uh, tip holder gears. So this one is with the nozzle tip uh, gears. So basically this one is more accurate already than than this one. So but still this one is also pretty good and, and fits my purpose as well. But I just want to make it um, even better basically. So you can see here I have a camera, um, looking down camera, it's integrated the looking down camera and then it could also turn and it can also um, go up and down. So, so I'm gonna just um, cut the tape, cut the tape here and then I will put it, put it into the, into the, the strip feeder and you can see this is uh, actually an O201 component which is uh, really really small so I cannot place it uh, easily with my my hand so I had to rely on the I had to rely on this uh, pick and place machine So, okay, so now what I'm gonna first do is uh, usually we need to do the homing uh, just for the, for the device. And then basically we will look for the home fiducia like I mentioned before. So you can see this is uh, the home fiducia. Okay, so now it's uh, finished the uh, homing, and the other thing is uh, I need to um, do the uh, ball aligning. So I just use this uh, top camera, so it will align the board with the with the fiducia. Okay, so now with that you can see the it has aligned the board. I'm just gonna test. So what you can see here, this is O two O one components, and I also have a, yeah the position is a little bit up. Um, so what we can do is um, um, basically I we can we can lower down a little bit of this. Um, the problem is uh, for this board, the fiducia is not uh, uh, designing well. 
Therefore, um, it, when it trying to uh, recognize it, it's uh, it's not so not so good. Um, okay. So it is okay. So this uh, looks this looks good. Okay. So now it's uh, it's looking good. I just need to I can set those two uh, unplaced. And then, um, because I just uh, started the, um, I just started this uh, machine, and then I want to um, uh, calibrate the nozzle tip. So then I just move to the camera, and then you can see it will go through this uh, calibration. Okay, so now it's uh, centered nicely, and then uh, uh, I also changed the uh, feeder, as you can see. Um, so I just uh, need to set it uh, once more. And now, okay, so I had uh, I had the feeder now set it, and I also have the board, and I also uh, unselect those two. So what I can do now is just I like, can start. So we will try to um, go to the position. actually placed so you see it's actually auto one has been placed on the on the, on the pad here I didn't put in soda paste um, because I just want to see the, the locations now you can see this auto one components actually being placed centered which is uh, pretty good so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will release this uh, design soon. And uh, if you like it, please subscribe. And see you in the next video.